Hi everyone. I am back with another journal to share. Uh, this is for um, a private swap uh, with Rachel. Uh, we had agreed to do a vintage kind of girly themed uh, junk journal. And so this is what I've come up with. Uh, I started with this uh, picture um, and it's a printable that I bought uh, from an Etsy seller. Uh, and as soon as I saw it, I really thought it was going to be perfect for this journal. And I went with this deep um, kind of purple color here for the cover uh, color. So this is a book. Uh, it's actually about two and a quarter inches wide um, at the spine. And I painted it with um, uh, crackle medium and just... Uh, tinted the uh, purple color that I had to come up with a, a few different shades of the purple and I'm actually really pleased with the way it's it's come out. It's got this kind of orchid color here and so that's why I've gone with that color for the closure which is uh, just some seam binding threaded through uh, those eyelets. And then on the spine I've again got that orchid color. Um, I've used a Tim Holtz um, I don't even know what they're called, but you know, they hold charms. <laughs> uh, so I've got one of those on the side. And then I've um, made a charm here. I've just got uh, a variety of uh, beads. I've got uh, a key there, um, some purple beads, some green beads. I've got these uh, diamond glasses. <laughs> I've got uh, this hanger up here. And I've got a little uh, teapot somewhere here. I can't find it. There it is. There's the teapot. Uh, and then another key down here. So that's the charm. And I've used a little bit of metal, of course, here on the side. And those are from Michael's. I haven't seen them again, um, but I really like them. Uh, they're, um, they're not too big. Sometimes some of the, the pay, uh, book corners you get are a little bit too big and, and uh, these ones are perfect. So going inside, um, again I've done um, tabs on the side as I usually do. I've also stapled a little bit of um, the trims that I use throughout as page turners as well. I've used um, some coffee dyed um, music paper uh, throughout as well and just a variety of stamping and coffee dyed papers little bag with some extra uh, journaling pages in. Just used a variety of pattern papers and I've used um, graph paper and ledger paper as well. Uh, this is open at the back so that's a tuck spot there. There's a tuck spot here, one here, and then one here. And I've used some of the end cuts off the paper just along the sides of uh, some of the, the pages just so that they weren't too plain. This is a glassine bag and I've got just a printable tag here, a little tag there, and then um, I've used my edge punch and I've got that little saying, a woman can be overdressed but never over elegant and that's a quote from Chanel very true. Um, this is an envelope and that's a tuck spot on that side and on this side it flips out uh, to add some things. This is actually open at the top here um, as a tuck. Middle of the signature and I've made it into a pocket. And this is a tuck. And the other side of that and I've got the definition of believe there. And then in this bag, uh, I've got another uh, tag. And I've used a variety of seam binding and different fibers for the um, tops of the tags. Uh, these are some coffee dyed uh, index cards and I've just stamped those up. And then another um, picture of a hydrangea there. ballerina and just a 
plain tag in there and that's just a little bit of layering with a flower and that's um, I think that's a Canyon Company um, sticker um, but I've actually taken the sticky stuff off and, and so it was not quite as thick and then glued it on there and tuck spot here and a little um, alteration tag uh, in this bag I've got I've stamped that dress in purple and then I've just put a variety of fibers on the top Again, center of the signature I've made a pocket and I haven't put things in every spot just because I of course wanted to leave room for Rachel to add her own things these are from Ephemera's Vintage Garden that was a printable um, free printable that she gave us one time in that library pocket and that library pocket actually is from Allie so thank you Allie I've added a little bit of craft color in here as well because I thought it went well with the vintage theme here I've got a few tags, Live Beautifully, Dream Passionately, I've got a really pretty picture of a rose, and then in this bag I've got another tag, Always Wearing Your Invisible Crown, and then um, in the front here I've got just, this was a fussy cut uh, flower from Tsunami Rose, and I was going to use it as a tuck spot. Um, but didn't end up doing that so I've just used it and on the back I've stamped note and I'm just uh, using it as an additional journaling spot. Bag here with another really pretty book image in it and that's um, a belly band tuck spot and again some stamping another pretty bucket of roses and in this bag I've just got some end cut paper folded that she can journal on and uh, a couple of things there this is left open as a tuck spot I thought that was a beautiful image and these papers are from the Prima stack I think I want to say Debbie top but that's not right I think it's um, I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put it in the uh, comment section below. And I've got this image of a dressing table and then really pretty uh, dressmaker's dummy there with lots of bling and uh, then just a tag that I've made. And another library pocket there with more of those note pages in. And another um, side tuck here, uh, and again, that's one of those fussy cut roses. And again, I've stamped a note on the back for more journaling spot. And journaling under the signature there, in another pocket. And this is um, a card that I just cut in half and then uh, cut with a die at the top uh, and I'm using it as a pocket so more end cuts another uh, index card that I've, I've stamped and a little bird cage there with some, just some pretty fibers again just a plain that's a, just a plain craft tag in there and another bag with more paper Another one of those roses to use as a journaling spot, and just a little tag behind that fussy cut trunk. And a pretty rose postcard. This is a tuck spot, uh, and an envelope, and that's a tuck spot, and then lots of room there to add things. A pocket. And that's open at the back for a tuck spot. Center the signature again in a pocket. Um, another pretty roses image. And tuck spot there and there. And again, that's open. And that's 
that's a glassine bag. The other half of that, that I've got to tag it and some trim. The last signature, and you can see I've used my edge punches here a little bit as well. And there's another envelope, and that's a tuck spot there, and it folds out. And then on the front, I've layered some music paper and an envelope, and then I've just slid the card that belongs to that envelope in there as additional journaling space. And that's a Marion Smith printable, uh, and I've got uh, the definition of happiness on that tag. And again, that's open. And again, the center pocket and another of these and that's just my information there that I've tucked in and another note card and then this is an envelope I made out of from or from my envelope punch board a little printable in the back from Tsunami Rose and I've just got uh, a small doily there In after I guess um, and then again another tuck spot at the back glassine bag with a frame on it and I've just added a tag and I thought it would be fun to see the writing through it um, so I cut out the center and another bag here that I've added some journaling paper in and that's it that's the journal so I hope Rachel likes it uh, I really love doing this. It um, was so much fun to uh, to pick out all those girly things. It's a little bit different than I usually do, so I, I really do hope Rachel likes it. Uh, and um, I have another project coming up, so I will see you uh, with that uh, very shortly. Thanks everyone for watching.